And one of the big issues on the ballot for Bowling Green is their school levy. The district is asking residents to support the construction and upkeep of one single elementary school. Amy Steigerwald is breaking down the numbers and why the district feels this is the best option for students. Bowling Green residents will decide what they want the future of BG elementary schools to look like. The district has a 1.6 mil property tax and a quarter percent income tax on the ballot, which will support the construction and upkeep of a consolidated elementary school. You know, when we're talking about equity of, of resources, equity of class sizes, um, equity for students across the board, you know, it's something that right now we don't have it. We have three separate buildings that are working independently of each other. Now, if this levy does pass, schools like Crim Elementary, along with Kenwood and Conneaut Elementary, will be converted into one single consolidated elementary school that all elementary children in Bowling Green will attend. The last two levies Bowling Green put on the ballot failed. This time around, the amount of money and time frame has decreased based off the recommendation of task forces. Superintendent Scrooge believes this time around, the school board listened to what voters were asking for. We had many people at our April meeting saying that, that in fact, they wanted a one, uh, a one building uh, elementary school. And, and so the board did listen to that. If the levy does pass, changes could start to happen as early as next school year. To see a full number breakdown, find this story on our app. Reporting in Bowling Green, Amy Stagerwald, WTOL 11.